Hello, hey, welcome back. Today, I'll introduce another alternative to trade copying for Ninja Trader, which is Antidupe. Antidupe is just a short form for Ninja Trader Duplicator, and the developer here is Ivan. Um, there is actually four plugins to this trade copier. I'll introduce them to you all and do stay tuned for the last one because that one is quite special and it's a very close alternative to Replicanto, at least the function that I'm looking for. The first three plugins that I want to share with you here are basically the NTDupe one. Um, yeah, the NTDupe X1, NTDupe X2, and NTDupe X3. If you want the plugins, they are all free. So Ivan here had initially planned to sell um, the track copier, but decided to put them online for free. I'll put the link in the description box below. If you want to find him, you can go to the Discord over here. Each of the plugins is essentially the same, just with extra features if you want them. The X1 is a one-to-one -one duplicator. The X2 is a duplicator and a multiplier, meaning if you are trading one contract in the master account, then the X2 can multiply the contracts to two or more whereas the x3 it is a conversion meaning they can convert from mini to micro or vice versa at the same time using the plugins is very simple just select like whichever version that you want download it and install it into your ninja trader so it's just like this, going here and just like tools, import ninja script add on and select the file. Alright, so the next um the next step is very crucial. You need to create a master sim account. It's easy to do so, you just you just need to go back to the ninja trader here, create um right click here. Add simulation account and create this account underscore DUP and you can maybe change the initial cash like 50k to match your maybe account if you want and it will create that so this is very important because this sim underscore DUP is your master account the whole three plugins here will only work with the steam underscore DUP as a master account. You cannot use any other accounts as a master account. So when I saw these indicators um, a few weeks ago, I wrote an email to the, the developer here, Ivan, and asked, hey Ivan, can I change the name of the master account to something else? He asked back, like, why would I want to do that? I just explained that I'm not able to trade Tradovet accounts in NinjaTrader. And my intention to do so was to trade from TradingView. So when I am controlling the TradeAware account in TradingView, I want to be able to copy the trade to all the Rhythmic and TradeAware accounts in NinjaTrader. However, because the current master account must always be called the same dupe, I am unable to do so with this plugin of his. He said he would see what he could do, and he came up with a version called Antidupe T1 for Ninja Trader Duplicator for TraderWet. Um, it's still in a beta version and you, you can only get it from this website, but you are not able to access this. Instead, you need to go through this um, particular page from the Discord section. Do keep in mind this is still uh, just a beta and it's just a work in progress. I have tested it and it's okay. To use it, you need to download the plugin and you have to follow a very extra special step. Once you download the plugin into this like import uh, ninja script add-on, you need to go to your ninja trader ad folder. For me, my ninja trader ad is in the documents folder. Okay, then the next step is you need to go to this view over here, go to show, and make sure the the file name extension is checked. Alright, once you have it you are supposed to create this ntdupe t1.conf 
basically the the steps is written over here. First, you need to create a new folder. Uh, sorry, create a new text document, and you need to rename it nt tip t1. But uh, because I already have it and I do not intend to uh, disturb it, I will rename it as T2. Ideally, you need to rename it as T1. Okay, once you have this, you need to open it and select your master account. Okay, so you need to type this into the document. Like for here, um, the, the, the developer has his Bullinox account as the master account but for me if you look at my T1 over here I had my Apex as the master account it's just basically the same I just need to copy this and select it over here and after that because currently this is still in a .txt format I need to change it to .conf so I will save as all files dot c o n f and then I'll save it all right here just to double check I already have my new c o n f file okay then all you have to do next is just to open ninja trader for now I can delete this so file because I don't need it anymore I am using this as my reference file once you open this in Ninja Trader, there is also a step to follow. So when you first open it, you see that um, usually there is it will be this screen that is showing up, Antitub D one dot beta, and then you you just select like whichever account that you wanted to copy over, and you select start, and that's it. That's all you have to do. But this is uh, not the end of the case because you need to have the connections first before you call, before you select the duplicator plugin but in most cases because when we open ninja trader it will open the plugin first before the connection is completed that's why if i want to do so i each time you open the ninja trader you need to close the existing one go to tools i'm sorry um go to new select nt dip one and it will bring you to the Discord, but at the same time, it will also open this duplicator. Now there is all the extra connection. Because I am using this uh, Apex account as a master account, you won't see it as uh, opening over here. Instead, you will see my other Bullinox account for to, which is able to be copied. And I will just have to select this and this. If I want and select start, if I want to select uh, start copying to any of the account, right? So that's all you have to do to copy trades. Remember, this is just a beta version. I am having this video to let you all know that something like this exists. But for the first, um, the first three duplicator plugins, it's actually good to go. The Antidupe T1 is for now just a one-to-one -one duplicator. And when I tried to create a bracket order in TradingView, it did not copy the ATM to the slave account in NinjaTrader. As in, if I have to take a profit and stop loss limit, after one side is hit, the master account will have a OCO entry and the opposing limit will be cancelled. If, if it hit the take profit um, target, then the stop loss limit will be re removed. But this bracket order isn't copied to Ninja Trader, and I have to manually close the order. Perhaps future versions might have it, but this is actually a reason why the simple trade copier, which I re uh, referenced to in the past video, is using market orders because it also cannot really copy ATM order. ATM copy is still something I found only with Replicanto for now. So what do I mean by this, like let's say this is a video I shamelessly using uh, Replicanto as an example. So this is a master account and these two are the slave account. If the price hits, um, fill the orders in these two targets, then this stop loss, uh, which is an OCO order, 
will be automatically removed. Likewise, in Replicanto, this will also be removed as well. The two, the stop loss will be removed. But for this current anti-dupe, um, the orders are still existing inside. You have to manually close it. That is uh, one downside to this particular trade copier. And actually for this, um, it's not that it actually cannot uh, copy the ATM order. The developer is using Tridovet um, to do his bracket order. And from his testing, he is able to copy all the bracket orders to the slave account. But when I am testing it from TradingView, I am unable to um, transfer it over to NinjaTrader. So I believe it is actually more of a restriction uh, in the communication from TradingView through from TradingView to NinjaTrader via Tridovet. If you are still if you are using Tridovet uh, for the bracket order, I don't believe there is issue issue with it. So that's all I have to say for this anti duplicator. If you are interested, you can do try it out, and you can go into the Discord to com uh, to talk to the developer for this particular trick copier. If you have noticed by now, almost every trick copier has its own pros and cons. It's up to you to decide and judge whether you want one feature over the other. For me, I am still sticking with Replicanto for the peace of mind, because it is tried and tested. If you would like to use Replicanto, you can get it from my link below to get 20% off. I hope you enjoyed the video, subscribe, and I will see you next time.